This is Alexis Avila. To toss one's own child into a dumpster like trash, something that uh, it is an unforgivable event by any mother. Who's on trial for child abuse in Hobbs, New Mexico. On a cold January day in 2022, CCTV cameras captured a lady, later identified as 18-year-old Alexis Avila, driving to a dumpster and dropping off what appeared to be a black garbage bag. Hours later, three dumpster divers go through the same dumpster, scavenging for goods. At first, they seem confused upon finding the black garbage bag. Hearing faint cries from inside, they first suspected it to be a trapped cat. But when one of them opened the bag, it led to a shocking discovery. April Meadow, who was one of the divers, found a newborn child wrapped in a cold, wet towel, whimpering and freezing to death. Without a second thought, she cradled the baby and kissed its forehead, while the others called 911. 911, where is your emergency? We just found the baby in the trash. Is it breathing? Yes, ma'am. He still got his umbilical cord. He, he's whimpering. He was not crying, actually. Police soon arrived at the scene and secured the bag and the CCTV footage as evidence. The baby was rushed to a hospital. Miraculously, it survived. Where's the baby? Keep him, keep him warm. Keep him covered up. Keep him warm. Do you know whose baby it is? Is it your baby? No. April, is it your baby? No. Oh, my God. Avila was identified from the footage. Look what she does. I don't know. Just tosses it. Look at that. Piece of and brought in for questioning, where she admitted to her crime in great detail. I, I put it in I put it in the bag, I took it to the car. I when I was in the car I put I had two trash bags. I took one with me, which is the one that I had, mm -hmm. and then I I put it again and then I was I, I drove around and I didn't know what to do and I just put it in there. Where did you throw the garbage bag? In the trash. In the trash? Okay, did you lock it up? Did you seal it up? With the, the hair tie. Right, did you place it there? Did you throw it there? What did you do? I just, what do you mean? I mean, the like trash. Like in the trash, I just, put the, when I tossed it in there. Avila said she put the baby amongst other trash, drove around for a while, and then threw the bag in a dump. You're 18 years of age, you know right yeah. from wrong, right? Right. Okay, so you wrap around a newborn inside a trash in bag. A panic. I, I'm right. I just turned 18. Right, it's right. Not like I've been 18 forever. Exactly. But you know, I mean, if somebody were to wrap you inside a trash can and put a tie on it, and you're not able to move. Well, the tie was broke. Like right. I could, I would be able to stick my hand in there. What do you think would have happened? What do you mean? So what do you think would have happened? If you never notified law enforcement, you never called for EMS. You I never... didn't. And by this, I'm still in. What, what exactly, what do you think was going to happen? I don't know. Avila tried to justify herself by saying that she acted out in a panic. Avila also seemed to be under the impression that she didn't do anything wrong. It's not normal behavior from any reasonable person to do what she did. If I'm, What do you know, mean? It's not. In a panic when I just turned 18? Right. It still isn't, though. We're talking about a baby. Well, I know, I know what you mean, but like, I'm... <sighs> Then, Avila made a bizarre statement, saying she was aware of her pregnancy, but didn't actually know that she was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant yesterday. Okay. Because I heard it. The doctor showed me. I knew back in whenever, but I didn't know. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, it's... Needless to say, authorities didn't buy her story and charged Avila with attempted first-degree murder and child abuse, resulting in great bodily harm. At her trial, Avila testified, saying she doesn't recall giving birth to the baby. Um, I appreciate you, you know, being, telling me what happened and stuff. What did you do after the fact? I know. What time, more or less, was it? Do you remember? Do you recall? Mm -hmm. Like 2.15, maybe? Somewhere around that time. Okay, that's when you dropped off the baby? Somewhere, I believe so, okay. yeah. What did you do after the fact? I drove around continue drive around. Continue to drive around? To do what? To just, I don't know, just to clear my, to, to figure out what to do. Okay. What else? I mean, where'd you go? Where'd you end up going? Where did you I ended up going to my house. You ended up going to your house? What did you do after? Dude, when I went to my yeah. house, I just sat on my bed and I was trying to figure out okay. what, what I was supposed to do or what, I, what, what to do. Um, I think when me and my mom left the police stations about the hospital, 
So what were you thinking at that moment? Um, she also claimed to be in shock and didn't remember disposing of the infant in the trash. Um, I think when me and my mom left the police station to go to the hospital. Prior to, prior to the police station and going to the hospital, you don't remember anything that happened in that space. No, ma'am. In fact, Avila said the only thing she recollected from that day was leaving the police station. Is that something that had happened to you before? Um, yes. How often has this happened to you? Um, not very often. Um. But the prosecution was having none of it. They made Avila admit to her crimes in front of the jury. This bag were used by you, as seen in the video, to throw your newborn into the dumpster. Isn't that true? That's the bag that was in the video. And that's because that was you committing this crime, wasn't it? Yes. Even though Avila maintained that she came to know about her pregnancy one day before tossing the newborn in a dumpster, Stephen Astorga, Avila's ex-boyfriend and the father of the abandoned baby, revealed both Avila and he knew about the pregnancy since April 2021, eight months prior to the incident. My name is Stephen Astorga. Mr. Stora, do you know a person by the name of Alexis Avila? No, I observed it. <clears throat> observed it? Yes, sir. Uh, and the pregnancy test was, I presume, administered with Miss Avila? Yes. Uh, and she was obviously present for this pregnancy test, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, she appeared to see the pregnancy test or to not see the pregnancy test? She see it. She's seen it. Did you ever discuss this pregnancy test? Uh, not that I recall. Uh, did you ever discuss what you were going to do with the baby? After hours of deliberation, the jury eventually came to an unsurprising verdict. In my mind, the picture of cold shock. And what is cold shock? At her sentencing, Avila addressed the courtroom, where she showed remorse for her actions. I regret that I had to miss out on every first milestone the baby had and that I deprived him of motherly love. I regret that his first... Hours of life were traumatic, and I regret that he will always have this in the back of his head. Before deciding her fate, Judge William Shoebridge made some poignant remarks. What you did with your child, and you've also given your son that same life sentence. And that is probably something that is uh, as hard to deal with as any length of time that you may have in prison. Ultimately, Alexis Avila was sentenced to 16 years in prison. As for the baby, he's now named Saul and lives a healthy life with his father's family.